right, welcome everyone. Welcome. Welcome to our <laughs> top 10 retirement mistakes. Drum roll number one. Kevin, take finally, it away. Finally, finally number one. And, and number one, Charlie, uh, most of the things we've talked about in the top 10 retirement mistakes, most of the things are about not planning mm -hmm. for the future, yeah. for an uncertain future, yeah. but not doing something about today um, in the form of planning. So mm -hmm. the number one retirement mistake we see is people not planning. Um, now, sometimes, Charlie, people even will come to us and they'll say, uh, I'd like to invest my money with you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, what do you do when someone just says, I want to invest my money with yeah. you? You first say thank you. Yeah, yeah. But what do we come back to? I know. It's kind of like the question of what's the best stock today? Right. Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you want to do with your life, what you want to do with your money. How, right. You know, and, and uh, Kevin, our mission uh, statement I have up on the screen here is basically help people to prepare for that future That's while right. balancing what's important for them right now in their lives. That's right. I mean, it's really, it's on the one hand, uh, we all want to have a good life today. I mean, and, and that's very important. We don't think you should squirrel all your mm -hmm. money away just for the future. Yeah. But on the other hand, you always want to be planning for the future because when you show up to a future that you've planned for, mm -hmm. it's going to absolutely, oh, yeah. uh, well, almost absolutely be a better <laughs> that's future. That's right. And, and again, you know, a lot of our folks think that we just want them to don't spend any money, save all your money, and that's not true. That's right. A lot of times we tell people, hey, go work less, go spend some more money, because uh, tomorrow's not guaranteed, first of all. Uh, right. And so we want people to have that balance, and that's really difficult to achieve, and we can do that with some good planning. Absolutely. So, Kevin, today I kind of broke this down. We broke this mm -hmm. down a little bit into some four mm -hmm. benefits that planning, you know, there's tons right. of them. There's endless benefits. It's great. But firstly, we believe it creates clarity in, in, in our clients' lives. That's you know, right. they can kind of see through the fog. They, where are they now? Where, where are you going? What do you want to do? So those are some of the benefits we think planning provides. Right. And, and Charlie, you know, there's been lots of evidence of human uh, studies, human behavior, that the greater picture in our mind of something, either it be the future or, or something that we want to accomplish, the greater the vivid picture mm -hmm. in our mind, yeah. the more likely we are to move towards that picture. Yeah. So if you can have clarity on your yeah. future, uh, that's really going to help you yeah. to, to not just plan, but actually take the actions to, to make a better future. Yeah, that's right. And one of the things is clarity creates speed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, even amongst our, our families, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes like I might know what I want to do when I'm retiring, but maybe right. my wife doesn't know. And so right, we've never right. really communicated that before. So that's another area that we believe is really important. Yeah, and, and we don't see, we don't see uh, couples routinely that absolutely have the same goals. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and Charlie and I, with our families, we don't all have the same goals. Yeah. That's just, that's, again, we, we all think differently about what the future is going to be. But if we can get on the same uh, sheet of music, if you will, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, at least focus with clarity on some of the same goals, I think that will help people. And absolutely. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, the, the next C mm -hmm. of my four C's, Kevin, uh, is to prevent this, right? What do we do if this happens? Well, well if that happens, well, nothing, we're... Uh... Nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about your money at that point. Yeah, but, yeah. but part of the planning process, just like, uh, Kevin, when I was in the military, we had a mm -hmm. position called mission commander. Mm -hmm. Your only job as a mission commander was make sure that you thought of anything that could possibly go wrong. Right. Because people were going to do their jobs, they were going to do it well. But right. your job was to look and what if everything to death, be the devil's advocate. Right, And right. that's kind of what we try to do for our clients is make sure, hey, you're on the right track possibly, but what could prevent you from success? Whatever. Yeah. What we're talking more about here is what could go wrong. Mm -hmm. And just getting it all on, out on the table, what yeah. could go wrong, and then again taking some action so those catastrophic situations don't happen. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's hugely important, and, and sometimes we tend to either stick our head in the sand or, or not do anything about it if we can. Uh, we believe financial planning mm -hmm. allows us to be content with our current situation. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's, you know, it takes a little bit of work. It takes planning. Right. Uh, but we love to, to, for our clients, our families, ourselves, to be content, have peace of mind right now. And, and we believe that's one of the results. Right. So we're taking something that's very intangible, like mm -hmm. financial planning, okay? It's something that you can't see. Um, and we're, we're trying to bring that into the present life experience because the more you plan for the future mm -hmm. and the more all your ducks are in a row and everything mm -hmm. is where it should be, the more happy you can be today, the more content you can be today. And Charlie, yeah. uh, you know, my years of knowing Charlie, Charlie has really uh, made this a real part of planning for me personally is that to build a future, 
it actually increases the likelihood that you'll be more content today. Yeah, that's right. And Kevin, I put this funny quote up here uh, just because in my mind I think about sometimes we see people make mm -hmm. more money. We, we, and usually our money increases our salaries or whatever, or right. perhaps an inheritance. But if you don't have in mind your, the values, the things that are valuable to you, are important right. to you and your family, and you go out and blow your money on those things that are not, you will be less happy. Yeah. You know, we want people to be wealthy, don't get us wrong, but we want you to know what's important to you and your family and put your money in those areas, for instance, a charity or, or whatever that may be. That brings contentment and peace of mind. Right, right. And, you know, but what we have found over the years of working with clients, uh, if clients are in touch with their values, mm -hmm. their goals, if they're in touch with these things, all the money, it, it, it's a lot easier to, to decide what to do with the money. Absolutely. Finally, uh, all these things, and as we do the planning process, it brings tremendous confidence. You know uh, that you do, are doing everything you can do to increase your chances of success in retirement. And that is a, a big deal, Kevin. We believe a great benefit of the planning process. You will do better. You'll be more, the chances are you're going to be more successful. Yeah, you're doing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. That's right. So if you like these videos, please uh, like them. Mm -hmm. uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Please go to Facebook and share the video. Um, you know, we, we very much appreciate it. Um, so thanks, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we want to help you have a brighter future. Thank you.